This is a brief overview of the codes panel. The codes panel can be reached by going to administration coding codes. That brings you to this page here. There's a couple things you need to know about it. The ICD-9s and ICD-10s, if you want to see the display of them, and you would go to ICD-9s. Now, make sure that you've installed the ICD-9s or ICD-10s using the external loads data load. So if you go to administration and go to coding, go to external, mm, let's try that again, external data loads, it will bring you here. Under here, you can select ICD-9s. It will say install if it has not been installed. You would click the install and it would install the feature and you would see this. Same thing for ICD-10s. You can see that they are installed. There is an update to this. So here, I would go ahead and click install. It will run the update to it. And sometimes this can take a while depending on your system. And how much it has to install. But we're going to sit here and wait for it to finish the install. Maybe, maybe not. Because I can always come back to it. The ICD-10s are actually a pretty big file. Alright, so instead of waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the codes page. I was hoping this was over load pretty quickly but it doesn't seem to be but for our demonstration purposes let's take us back here if you want to see all of the ICD-9s that are in the code just select ICD-9 and click search it just shows you how many ICD-9s if you look to your right over here you can see where it shows that there are 14,567 ICD-9s listed in the system you cannot edit these only thing you can do is modify them in this respect. If I click modify, if you notice all these fields are grayed out, I cannot change anything about the ICD-9 because it is a standard code. So therefore, I cannot change it. The thing that you can change are your CPT codes. CPT codes are fluid and so if you click on CPTs and do search, in this particular case, you can see they only have one CPT code in here. But if you want to add a CPT code, then you would simply put in the code, if there is a modifier, add the modifier, and then the description of the code. Of course, you can find ICD, I'm sorry, CPT codes around the internet in a lot of different places, so they could be manually added. Or you can buy, the. if you're in the US, you can buy the CPT codes from the AMA. They are the gatekeepers of those. But for those practices that only have a few codes that they use as far as CPTs, then it would be best to go ahead and just manually enter those into the system. Whereas if I do as new, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and reload my page just so it gets rid of that one there. And then I would select my CPT as a selector, the type of code that I'm putting in. And then I would save as new. And then that would add it to my CPT list. Okay. So, for the ICD-10s, it's the same thing. If I were to click here, CPT. I'm sorry, ICD-10 diagnosis, and click search, you can see that I have 72,616 codes in here for ICD-10. And again, you cannot modify the ICD-10 codes. ICD-10 codes, again, are just like the ICD-9s. They are a fixed set of codes and no one should be manually editing those codes. That's why you cannot manually edit them. All you can do is assign them to the category, and we'll cover that in another video. Thanks for watching.